Hey everyone, it's Benny. Today I want to share with you my personal method for grinding CEO crates. It's double money this week, so this is going to be some amazing solo grinding. If you have a CEO office and a warehouse, definitely take advantage of this. In this, I'm going to be showing you how you can grind crates with little effort. You can use just about any weaponized vehicle for this, although a Mark II and a Buzzard are going to be your best bets. You could do this with something like a Deluxo, but it's so slow. I wouldn't really recommend it, but it is doable. That out of the way, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, you're going to want to start this off by buying three crates. Now, even if you're playing solo, always buy three crates. It's going to save you so much time. You'll pay a little more, but it's going to make you your money back and then some. And we'll talk about how to get your money back, you know, right around the middle of this guide. So anyway... You're going to want to buy your three crates, and then as soon as you buy the crates, check the map. If the warehouse appears on the map, that means you're going to have to make three pickups. But, if the warehouse doesn't appear on the map, that means you got lucky, and it's going to be in some kind of a vehicle. This won't, this won't guarantee that you get the vehicle, but it'll give you an idea of what kind of mission you're going to have to do, so you can prepare ahead of time. Alright, after you've delivered the first set of crates, immediately start VIP work. The best one to go with is Headhunter because it's quick, it's relatively easy, and it gets you 20000 which is a little more than enough to pay for the crates you just bought. Now, at some point, you might, you might be done before the cooldown for Headhunter is over. That's fine. If that happens, just do a different VIP work. I'd recommend either Sightseer or Hostile Takeover. If that's the case, so you may be thinking, what, hostile takeover? Are you kidding me? No, it's it, like Headhunter, it's really quick. In fact, it's even quicker if you have an oppressor. And it gets you 15000 which is just barely enough to make up for the cost of the crates. So basically, do a Headhunter. If you can't do a Headhunter yet, just do a hostile takeover of Sightseer. This will help you pay for the crates without losing any money from your profit margin. Now repeat this cycle until you get to 9 crates. If you want to really push this, you could do 27 crates, but you might end up with 2 brocades. It's easiest just to do 9 crates at a time. Alright, start the sell mission, and make sure you do all of the drops. If you end up with multiple drops, do all of the drops. And if you can, do this in a full session, but... Considering we're trying to make this easy, I would recommend doing this in a solo public if you can. Alright, that's all there is to it. You buy and sell 9 crates, then you do a headhunter or some kind of a VIP work in between. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this helpful, leave a like. And if you want to subscribe, I'm going to be uploading videos to my channel on a regular basis. That's it for now. I'm out. Stay safe, guys.